Hey, you guys, this is Kendra with All For Him Ministries. I'm so excited to be with you here tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm here with Sharon Thompson, my girlfriend, and I'm so stoked. I want to uh, share with you a really cool thing that's going on. So as you were coming in, I want to make sure that everybody's online. We're just going to hang out here for a second. And I want to make sure that you're here, that you're with us, that you can um, I want you to share this if you can, because we're going to spend about the next 20 minutes and I want to share some really cool information. Yay, we have some prizes to give away. I better not do that because I'm shaking the table. Um, <laughs> but um, anyways, so if you're if you're joining on with us right now, Facebook Live, would you share with your friends and put them to their timeline? And um, we're going to get going here in about two seconds here. So are we all good, Jess? We're all good. Yeah, it's good to see you guys. Let me turn down my volume. Hi, Miss Nancy. Timeline, and uh, it's good to see you. Glad you're with us. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys, I um, am so excited. I have my girl Sharon and I have been doing. Oh, see, I'm all tongue tied already because I'm so excited. <laughs> so Sharon and I have been doing ministry together for over. We discussed this about eight years, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, Sharon is an incredible warrior in the kingdom of God. She is a prayer warrior, an intercessor. We're going to talk about all that kind of stuff. Um, and I am excited to share tonight something that she has to share with you. So, hey, Lacey, it's good to see you, honey. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about Sharon. I had to write this down because there's so so much amazing stuff about you. <laughs> so I want to brag on her for just a minute. So Sharon has walked with the Lord and been spirit filled for over 50 years. You are a young chicken, 29 years old. She is today. Mm -hmm. um, she's a nurse. She's nurtured a uh, contemplative devotional life. What does that mean? Like she is just, this woman is so engaged in her Devo life with the Lord and she spends hours praying and meditating on the word. And um, it has given her this incredible grace to be a prayer warrior for intercession, for healing and for words of knowledge. And we're going to talk about that tonight. Sharon has experienced um, multifacets of ministry leadership. Um, she's been a worship leader, a ministry in prison ministries, healing ministries, prayer ministries. She's an evangelist. Uh, and now what the big news that we're releasing tonight is you guys, she is an author. She's a published author and she's also a speaker. Sharon is pouring out her knowledge and experience on the next generation so that they might walk fully in the power and authority of their identities of children of God. And um, so tonight we're so excited. We are launching with Sharon in a new format, her book called Hit the Ground Running. It's her debut book. It's a practical guide that everyone, regardless of where you are in your life or your faith journey, can use to grow and walk in the fullness and authority and identity and your purpose. And so you guys, I'm so excited that you're here. Hi, Harley. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. So you guys, I got to show you off the book. Here's um, Sharon's book, Hit the Ground Running. And um, I just thought it would be so awesome. You know, as believers, we are constantly God gives and gives and gives. And there's a point where we have to pour back. We have to pour back everything we've learned and everything we're encountering. And so tonight, I wanted just to get Sharon on here live. And she's so good to work with me and be so patient with us. But we want to just share with you some of the information, um, like how she got involved in this or how did you write a book? You're a published author. That's a big deal. That's a crazy big deal. <laughs> Pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure everybody's curious about your background. So Sharon, can you share? Say hi to everybody. Hi. I'm so <laughs> glad you're here tonight. This is great. <laughs> so could you share with us a little bit about your testimony? Like what led you to hit the ground? running to writing this book hit the ground running well i've worked with new believers for years and when i was volunteering in the women's prison it was in billings and i just wanted to make sure that the lessons that we were teaching the women was in a format that was easy for them to understand and i have read a lot of books and sometimes the information just goes over your head and you think whoa i didn't i couldn't retain that so the the purpose of my book is to equip new believers so that they understand the authority that they have in the Lord Jesus Christ and that they're walking in it, that they're motivated to really start running with the Lord. That's why I named the book Hit the Ground Running and I had the picture on there of a night because we as Christians need to understand the authority that we have and that we're not victims, that we are victors and that we always conquer the enemy. So I wanted to take fear away from people 
to motivate them to run with the Lord 100% uh, in hot pursuit of him. And that it's for everyone. Yeah. It's not just for an elite group. It's for everyone. Yeah. So Sharon, I know from um, being an author too, um, you know, when I, I wrote, cause the Lord said, sit down and write, but tell us, how did you start writing this? Can you tell, actually tell everybody a little bit about your history? Cause I think it's fascinating. You know, as we come through life, you look back and you realize, oh my gosh, this is all the training. Here's the credentials. And this woman is um, a wealth of knowledge, but has the resources, the training, the certifications, the credentials to support it. So I'm asking her to brag on herself a little bit, not brag, but just tell us, like, tell us a little bit about your history. So they understand, like, this isn't a book off the, you know, you just decided to write it one day, but this is a life journey. This is a life book. So right. yeah. Well, when we first began in the ministry was um, working with people that were really on the streets and they were coming off from drugs and it was just really crazy. So they had to have a good foundation in the word. And so then we moved from working with an on-street ministry, pulling people out of drugs and the cult and all of that. So you, you just didn't walk into something yeah. like that, not knowing what you were doing. You had to have you had to have a hold of the Holy Spirit and listen to what he was telling you so that you were bringing people out from a place of hopelessness and despair and putting their feet on the solid ground. So we went from working with uh, street mission then into youth ministry. And that's one of the things is I really wanted to have those kids to be able to grab a hold of it. They didn't have to wait to be adults and go through all kinds of terrible things before they had an experience with the Lord and that they could turn around and share it with someone else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how'd you get the training to know how to do that? Well, actually, I tell you what, <laughs> because I live in the mountains of Montana, I would say, Jesus, it's me, Sharon, here in Montana. Please don't leave me out of what you're doing in the earth today. <laughs> so I always prayed and asked the Lord to get me what I needed. And I did live in the mountains. So I... I did a lot of my training. It was watching, um, it was watching Kenneth Copeland and uh, Rama, Rama, um, Kenneth E. Hagen, and people that were really walking with the Lord in the healing power, like Oral Roberts. So I, these were my, my teachers and my mentors, and that's what I cut my teeth on. And mm -hmm. so when I learned a new truth from them then I turned around and I wanted to be able to impart that to somebody else. Because in Montana, we were not getting a lot of this information. It was like Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, wow, everything's happening in Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> so I would, I would access their materials and I would just really ingest them. And then I would, of course, practice them in my life to make sure that they were working principles. And so then I just wanted to put that down. I knew someday that there would come a time where I needed to put that down. And so I think then as we moved through youth ministry and then in, and then into prison ministry and I did seminars in the prison, I wanted to leave people something that they would have in writing that was equipping them to walk in victory in their life. It didn't have to be underneath the circumstances, but on top. Wow. How long did it take you to write the book? Well, you know, the actual, I had accumulated these teachings over the years. So the actual putting it together probably was maybe nine months, nine to 10 months of intensive putting it together. And then how did you know that you were supposed to write the book? Hey, you guys, if you have questions while I'm asking them all, shoot them down here and I'll ask her while we're, while we're asking her, because we get this uh, time with, uh, with Sharon, this author right now that is all for us. So anyways, I know I'm asking a ton of questions, but if you have questions, put them down there and we'll ask her. What did I just ask you? You just asked oh, me, how did I know yeah, to write the book? Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes the Holy Spirit leads us in impressions. Sometimes you can hear his voice like a quiet whisper, or sometimes it's loud, like me talking right now. But I just had the impression inside. I just knew way down deep inside that I needed to put this on paper and put it in some kind of format so that people would have it all together and that they could walk from the beginning to the end 
and then be able to turn around and impart that to someone else. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so Sharon, uh, we've all read your book where we've actually created this resource that we're going to share with you tonight. But so what is your favorite chapter in the book? Because I know mine. So can I, <laughs> should I share mine first? Sure. Okay, because I like. Um, so you guys, I was talking about her with her earlier. And um, I was sharing how, of course, I'm a worship leader. And so I loved the chapter on worship. In fact, so much so that I asked Sharon permission if I could give away a free mp3 awesome. download from one of our albums one of our worship albums where um, we have three albums that we have out there recorded but so I'm always intrigued when I see worship so I'm going to have Jess our amazing um, helper here <laughs> she's going to drop in a link right there and um, you guys can log in for a free oh there it is you can log in for a free um, mp3 download of one of the out songs that we have I think it might be a song we haven't released yet but actually I, I, I'm, I don't know I don't know what we do Oh, trust in me. Yep, it's a song we released. But anyways, you get that for free um, because I love worship and I love the fact that you have a whole chapter dedicated to worship in here. Mm -hmm. And as I read through it, I think you guys, one of the cool things about this chapter, as again, we're talking about hit the ground running. One of the cool things about the chapter in here is there's so much scripture to support what is worship? Um, what is praise? Um, it talks about scriptures um, that reference um, times. We, we were just talking about some of the words that we use in worship. Mm -hmm. But um, so some of the scripture, like I included Psalm 47, one through nine, which talks about clapping of the hands, shouting, um, you know, sounding the trumpet, singing along. You know, sometimes we forget that God is an over the top exuberant God and that in worship, we can express our love to him in radical ways. And we do that by dancing and singing and raising our hands and and celebrating him. Right. That we don't have to be all all kind of quiet. So I love that. And then in Psalm 149 and 150, you actually put reference again to the singing, the dancing, the tambourine. Uh, it's a singular group dance, string and wind instruments or flutes, resounding cymbals, loud clashes. Oh, more noise, please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And so you guys, um, that's just a nugget of this incredible book that is so much full of resources. And not only that, but then I love how you put your twist in here. And this is just so Sharon. So I, I, I copied this out because I wanted you to hear this because this is just her great analogies on how she's describing um, the father's heart and she's describing these um, these um, encounters right with Papa God and so it says so she reads in here and this is part of that chapter so when you get this you can read through it but it says when we love someone it isn't just with our mind with no outward expression is it no we send cards filled with lovely words we call them by special names of endearment honey precious baby or sweetheart we hug on them we kiss them we love to look into their eyes let's get back to our first love and i love this she says let's be hot for jesus our father and wonderful holy spirit and i love that because that is just such your heart you have such a beautiful heart and such a passion for God and such a passion for Jesus. And she communicates this so well in this book. And um, so when we were putting this, when we were, we, I had read your book and um, I just felt like we were supposed to create a resource for people that they could be able to um, take this, use it as a study, be able to have engagement with you, be able to have the resource. But um, so you guys were here tonight because we have a resource we we're gonna equip you with and, and roll out that is just phenomenal it is such an amazing research so much i call it meat it's so it's so meaty there's good stuff in here um but i love your dialogue also so what you got to share what your favorite piece <laughs> of this is okay my favorite chapter i love all the different um, chapters that the lord has helped me put together but my favorite one is on the authority of the believer i um what chapter that is let's see it is chapter eight, eight. yeah and um anyway it's the story about the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and rattlesnakes. So I've lived this whole chapter. So I think that people will be really interested to hear about the power of the blood of Jesus. I hate snakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think most too. people do. And when <laughs> Raise a hand. Give us an amen if you hate snakes. So, when we first moved here, um, it was outside of Great Falls. And where we were was in kind of a canyon. And the... People that told me that we moved there that the snakes would come from the wheat fields and they would come into where it was cooler 
in the summertime. So I did not like that at all. I thought this, oh, I know I hate snakes. Oh, yuck. And so I just learned about the power of the blood of Jesus. And there was a testimony about a Canadian farmer who had rabid foxes that were on his land. And so he went and they claim he walked his ground and said, I plead the blood of Jesus over this. And there's not going to be any rabbit foxes coming into my land. And they found dead rabid foxes on the perimeter of his land. So I figured, okay, Jesus, I know you're no respecter of persons and that you'll do the same for me just with rattlesnakes. So you have to read the story and find out. Yes, don't full disclose. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good ending. You got to read it. So you guys, let me just share uh, this. I wanted to share some of the chapters so that you can see how meaty and how amazing this book is. Um, some These are just some of the titles of the chapters. And you can imagine what's behind it because uh, so many years of experience, wisdom, insight, revelation, scripture is poured into this. But what it means to be born again? It's a great question. What does it mean? What about baptism in the Holy Spirit? Spirit, renewing the mind, water baptism, <laughs> praying effectively. Oh my gosh, wouldn't you love to know how to pray effectively? Um, knowing God, like uh, that's a deep subject, right? There's amazing things here. Spiritual weapons, that is, I love that. In fact, I love the cover again because she's talking about, you know, warfare and standing up. <laughs> the authority of the believers. Man, if people could grasp their authority as a believer, wouldn't that be, that would just shift your, your walk right there because you would understand the authority that you carry and how you win. I would say, hashtag, yes. you win. <laughs> um, the power of the blood. You were just talking about the power of the blood um, and the authority of the believer. But worship, uh, reflecting the character of Christ. What does it mean to be Christ, you know, Christ-like? What does it mean to be transformed into the image of Christ? Um, some Christian lingo. We had abbreviations. That's good. We need a lot of that. Is there hashtags in there? Probably not. But you guys, this is the cool thing. At the end of every chapter, um, you actually get uh, questions that she's challenging you to, to do some research, do some soul searching, look up the scriptures. And so there's fill in the blanks that are included in this. And then because she's so good, uh, there's an answer key. And I, you know, I like the answer key. <laughs> So, um, so anyways, so I think that's pretty exciting. Listen, I get you guys, I want to tell you, can I brag on you for a sec again? Um, I want to share with you some of the testimonies and maybe you've read this book or you have this resource already and you're listening to us. And so you can type in really quick, uh, maybe what, you know, what you've experienced, maybe you've gone through one of Sharon's classes because she obviously facilitates this as a conference or as a class. And we're going to talk about that, but, um, Sharon was uh, teaching the discipleship program, is it discipleship program down at um, the, the mission. And she's done that for about four years. She's done it for the, the men's side and the women's side. And man, the um, testimonies that would come back out of that. And I've heard some of them. I've heard from other people. I mean, um, just that this book was um, so impactful for them that it changed their lives because it netted it out and it gave them something they could understand. It's a very practical book on how to apply this to your life. And like you were saying earlier, sometimes things are over your head, you know, and um, I've always been in business or in anything I'm doing, trying to keep it as simple as possible so we can mm -hmm. understand it. And so you guys, this is a book, this is a resource, a training that will equip you so that you can just walk strong in confidence in who you are. And, you know, sometimes we get, we accept Jesus into our lives and then we think that's it. And it's actually not, that's only the beginning. There's so many more steps to maturing as a, um, as a believer, right? And it yes. says that we're not supposed to be drinking milk. We're supposed to be eating beef. And so <laughs> this is beef. It's what's for dinner tonight. <laughs> Um, yeah. Anyways, um, so I just I heard a ton of testimonies from people that were coming from the mission who I just said, man, that's an amazing teaching. God showed up. I never thought of it that way. Applying it to their lives and watching people walk out of old lifestyles and into a new. And um, I heard uh, actually a believer who, who is very green and are mature in their faith, not green, but they were saying uh, it's such an easy read that it makes it something that I can apply and understand. We've said that a couple of times. Um, so sometimes, you know, you get into a teaching and, it, and you have a, you think, oh my gosh, I just don't want it to be too much. You're going to love this. You guys, it's so good. Um, yeah. And then I just have heard people who have been in there, like they accepted Jesus 20 years ago and they kind of have just 
walk through the motions and they get a hold of this book and now they're like, oh my gosh, this like kickstarted me back into this deeper intimate relationship with God. So those are just some of the testimonies. Like you guys, there's so many testimonies over the years of um, Sharon working with people. And, you know, earlier when I was giving that list of things, she is a powerful intercessor, um, a powerful prayer woman and her wisdom as she, you get to be in her presence. And I say that, I mean, she's crazy humble in this, but I can brag on her, but it's just, she's so anointed and full of knowledge and her word. I mean, she just knows her word. So these are resources that are incredible that it's exciting to give away. In fact, do you care if we right now, if you um, are online right now and you joined us, or if you signed, downloaded one of our free MP3s, we're going to give away a signed book. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. I'm right. giving away her stuff. <laughs> so um, okay. she's going to, um, we're going to have her sign this and I'm going to ask her to even uh, put a prophetic word in here for, her. so we'll take all of the names of everybody that's with us is we're gonna we're gonna wait till morning in case we have some of the people join us on because they couldn't meet with us right now and every person that has been on this call we're gonna go ahead and put you into a drawing and we're gonna draw this out and then she'll sign it and prophesy over you mm -hmm. and we'll get that in your hands but we need you to put your email down or your contact because otherwise we can't connect with you right that makes common sense <laughs> so Sharon um you know I don't want to take too much more time but tell people how can they use this book as a resource in um, their own lives because I mean you know we could grab the book this is a book that you guys can can grab that you guys we want to equip you in um, just a couple different areas so what do you think when you wrote this book what did you envision well I envisioned Bible study groups being able to take this yeah and then also you know if a church wanted to use it actually I was involved with the church and they used that to train the new believers and we had a regular new believers class so i just love that so churches can purchase it and use it to raise up their new believers and equip them you can do it as an individual uh, study or even i would be willing to come and do conference yes with, uh, people i would just love to do that of course they'll get more than actually what's in the book because when i come i expect the lord to come with his healing angels his miracle working angels and he does because healing is uh, mainstream in my life as well. So mm -hmm. it would be in the power of the demonstration of wonderful Holy Spirit. And I have prayed over my books too, and have asked the Lord that everyone that reads that book has a divine encounter with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. And you know, I've seen Sharon teach this before and um, and it's, it's powerful because you can read something, but when somebody comes and equips your people through a conference and it's a three-day conference where she'll come and um, walk through, there's, what do we say, 12 chapters, I mean, mm -hmm. um, 12 chapters of the book. A little, there's an intro and an outro, um, but she walks through each element and they, um, and not only do you guys read through it and and really study the scripture but it's very applicable it's things that are interactive and so it's an amazing way that um sharing could come to equip small groups um you know with technology anymore and that's why we're here tonight um we can do online teachings and so we're so excited that we're going to launch her online hit the ground running teaching tonight and so we're excited that you joined us because you get to be the first ones to have access to this and to see this um and the online teaching is going to give you a chance like do you ever just wake up in the morning and you want a good teaching of something and so um i, I do i turn on my uh, videos. I go to my teachings where I'm just snuggled in. I can be at home. I don't have to go out to a Bible study. I can be at home and actually have the study come to me. I just told on myself. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, so that's another one. You know, the other thing as um, far as this book goes, and as we launch this new resource tonight, is that you're going to be able to not only come through the book, but have access to Sharon um, through some one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I'll tell you what, that's invaluable because I love being with you. I, and I know I've said that, but there, you carry such wisdom and knowledge. And so it is good that as you come up with questions or you have questions that, um, Oh man, you know, it, you, you're just able to answer them and empower us and align us with the right scriptures. So, um, I wanted to see really quick, um, a couple comments before I give you this big awesomeness. So, um, Amber said, this book is life-changing. Sharon is a lightning rod connected to the Lord. Praise God. See, <laughs> I wasn't just blowing fluff people. This is a real deal. 
<laughs> so thank you, Amber, for saying that. That's so beautiful. Um, you guys, so there's a couple of different ways that you can get a hold of, of Sharon. And listen, um, this is a great resource to put in your library. If you are a pastor, if you have a church, a home ministry, a fellowship, um, to have resources online, you know, uh, available. And um, today, you guys, we're going to invite you to um, an actual teaching in Great Falls. It's going to kick off this upcoming week. And, and we have some surprises for you on that, which I'm going to share with you in just a minute. There's so much to share. Um, but I, I just wanted to go back to the conference because I think this is a phenomenal resource where we actually, um, this is just a sweet nugget that I'm about to give you. And we're going to enhance on this because um, like, like we said, Sharon teaching this brings such an authority and an anointing. And so I want to encourage you, hey, you guys, if you have a ministry, if you're a pastor online, and you're listening, or you oversee a small group, or you need a resource and a teaching for the small group, I want to encourage you to pick this up. And then, all right. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yes. So you guys, um, so I want to share with you tonight, I, Sharon and I were just gabbing about this book and about, oh gosh, maybe six months ago, the Lord uh, just gave us an idea concept and said, Hey, what if we could offer this, uh, this, um, this book, this tangible book as an online course. And so we have created this online course and we are excited to roll it out to you tonight. Um, we're getting, giving you a chance just as our friends that are coming on live to take advantage of this, um, package you guys. And we just kept ex being so excited and the Lord would show us, you know, a little bit more and a little bit more. And so we just kept building this package to be more and more and more. And so this is what we're doing tonight. We're we're rolling out this online resource tonight because you're online. You're going to get 20% off. Um, and yeah, that's cool, yeah. right? <laughs> and um, it's it, what the course is going to involve is it's uh, it's 12 online lessons with introductory videos. Sharon's going to set you up with the teaching. She's going to tell you about what you're going to be learning. And then you're going to go and do the teaching. You're going to be able to download the teaching as a PDF. There's also the fill in the blanks that you're going to be able to download and um, the answer key. So don't panic. <laughs> and in the fill in the blanks, um, that's going to be some, a resource that if you want to print multiple copies because you're doing a group teaching, you are more than welcome to do so. Um, and also included in that, once you come through that 12-week program, and in fact, you can do it any time in the teaching, but you're also going to get a complimentary one-on-one um, -on -one session with Sharon. Mm -hmm. And that's a 15-minute session, you guys. That's a coaching call with, um, with Sharon personally. And she will mentor you through the book um, if you decide you need some more time with her you guys can work that out we're in the, in this package we're going to offer that one hour with her which is huge you guys um that in itself is priceless because um time with you is is really is very precious that whether you need prayer you need direction you need wisdom you want insight uh, a prophetic word your time with sharon is your time with sharon and hopefully you'll be able to she'll help you equip the resources um and then you guys, you get a signed book by her, which we're going to send out to you. Well, she's going to send out to you. Right? <laughs> and um, and also we'll put a personal message in there. So you guys, our 12-week teaching with lessons, videos, PDFs, downloads, books, conference call we're rolling out tonight. And um, it's going to uh, reach out at 125 tonight. You guys, we're doing a 20% discount off, so it's $99. It is a 12-week study that is going to be amazing. And um, we're so excited that tonight, as Jess is online, here she's going to put the link to that so that you guys can catch into that and um and partner in supporting sharon in this incredible resource um hit the ground running and and just begin to you know what it's just the new year right it's a great time to pop into a study and get yourself really solid and really invested in what the lord has for you in the new year so i'm so excited <laughs> I am too. we are offering hit the ground running online and you are the first to hear about it can you believe it so the first 50 people we're going to give 20 percent off you're going to go into uh, get to have access to this book and if you are local in Great Falls, Montana, if you show up for our teaching, which will start this week, we are actually doing a 12 week study of this live where you can come to a Bible study interactive. That Bible study is only the cost of the book, which is $15 at the at, for our Bible study. Um, Sharon's going to be there this Saturday at um, 10 o'clock a.m. as we kick that off at 417 Second Avenue Southwest. And I'm um, so excited because she's going to be there and she's going to sign books and she's going to 
going to kick that kick that meeting off. And so that'll be a 12 week study where you can come and be actually in uh, in that teaching local, which is crazy. So if you're not in Great Falls, I'm so sorry. You have to just get her online because yeah. we get her local. So <laughs> anyways, Sharon, what else do you want people to know before we hey, before we finish up tonight? What do you want them to know about this resource? I believe that they're all going to get a divine encounter with the Lord. Mm -hmm. It is not just reading a book, but something is going to happen to them that their lives will not be the same because the Lord honors his word and I will be helping you get grounded in the word of God. Yes. And yes. it will become alive to them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I totally believe that you guys, there is no question that this is not going to be one of the most important pieces of your arsenal to have in your, um, to have your resource library. You guys, this is all done online, but you also get some tangible products so that you can have it in your hand. Um, so that you can highlight if you want, but I want you to hear the 12 week study that um, we're launching right now. It is for you to use. If you have a small group, we're inviting you. Do a small group in your home and walk through this teaching. Use the resources as you want. If you're a pastor and um, you want to equip your new believers, use this as a new believers class, you guys. Um, this is phenomenal. Um, there's so many there. I know there's a lot of resources out there, but this one is amazing in the complete, the uh, simplicity of understanding it and the amount of work that's gone in to have the resources, the scriptures um, to support what's being taught. And so um, it's been done for you. <laughs> so anyways, I just want to say God bless. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Sharon. I want to say congratulations on an incredible Wow, what a gift um, that God gave you to share with us. And so thank you for sharing thank it with you. us. You guys, thank you for sharing online with us. And um, hey, Trevor. Hey, Anna. Um, so good to see you guys. Let's just say hey real quick. Have you, so Channon. Oh, Channon's from down south. Hey, girl. Anita, Tanya, Heather. Oh, look at all these people came in to hang out with us. Amber, yeah. Whitney, Dave Fisher, Al, Harley, Lacey. All right, you guys, you're amazing. Thank you for being with us tonight. And um, we're going to, hey, Gail. Oh, she's just coming on as we're heading out. We love you. Bless you. <laughs> um, but anyways, you guys, um, we will follow up with an email. And again, if you need to connect with Sharon, um, her, the information is actually on her, um, her book. But tell them what's your email. I don't know where I have that. Okay, my email is st.hitthegroundrunning at outlook.com. Perfect. And I think Jess is going to put that down below. You should have the link for the music download, the link for um, the free book. So make sure you get your, your information in there. You know what? Tell us if you give us a shout out and say, I want a book, if you're interested in going into that drawing. And we are about to... Um, go ahead and launch this this first ever this is the this is the first time ever launched resource hit the ground on running from sharon thompson hey you guys thanks for spending the night with us god bless keep watching we've got so many amazing resources and our heart is to fully equip you that you could run this race strong we love you we're gonna sign off and go have some gippers <laughs> all right blessings on you bye you guys <laughs>